Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we want to talk about the amazing mineral magnesium. Magnesium insufficiency, deficiency, low blood levels, it's among the most common nutrient-related condition we face here in America. There's a very good chance that if you're not doing well, low magnesium levels is playing a role. We want to talk about that today. We even have a little quiz to help you decide if you could be low in magnesium. Stay tuned for that. There's a lot to learn here. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Social media use may lead to an increased risk of depression. Researchers from the University of Pittsburgh conducted the first large and nationally inclusive study to determine if social media is associated with depression. They evaluated almost 1,800 subjects ages 19 to 32 from across the United States. They found on average the subjects participated in social media 61 minutes a day while they visited social media sites 30 times a week. They found more than one-fourth of the subjects were classified as having high indicators of depression. The nationwide incidence of depression is less than 10%. They also found those who visited social media sites most frequently were 270% more likely to show signs of depression, while those who spent the most time at social media sites were 170% more likely to be depressed. The study was published by the journal Depression and Anxiety. Well, folks, this is amazing. Social media use is now linked with depression. Now, for those of us who grew up with social, without social media, this study makes perfect sense as we believe what humans need is direct social contact. You know, the old-fashioned person-to-person communication. That's what humans have done for thousands of years. We are hardwired to do this. But those aged 19 to 32 who grew up with computers, the internet, and social media, they seem a little mystified by these studies like this one that show overdoing social media leads to mental stress, social isolation, and depression. See, folks, it's like this. On social media, everyone is idealized with lives portrayed as perfect. This will, of course, lead to feelings of inadequacy and envy. Also, most interactions on social media are trivial and pedestrian, leading to a sense of wasted time and failure to accomplish. Further, internet use is dependency forming, cutting out the potential for real person-to-person -person social interaction. Plus, social media use encourages the overexpression of contempt and even rage without direct physical consequences, a phenomenon called cyberbullying which of course can lead to despair and depression. Folks, this is a real and growing problem, so much so that experts are predicting depression will be the number one cause of disability by the year 2030. Can you believe that? The number one cause of disability. Children exposed to urban air pollution have compromised lung function. Researchers from the University of Washington followed over 600 eastern Massachusetts children for eight years. They found the children that lived within 100 yards of a major roadway showed lung function 6% lower than kids that lived more than 400 yards away. The researchers comment that even though pollution levels were within EPA accepted levels, the children still experienced lung function compromise. The study was published by the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care. Well, folks, as much as we would like to be, we are not done with pollution. Catalytic converters, banning DDT, and certain phthalates have helped, but it's not enough. Here we learn that children living near major highways, breathing air within EPA-accepted guidelines for fine particulate matter and soot, are still showing compromised lung function. There is some good news, however. The study found if the children move away from the major roadways, their lung function improves, but of course, it's not always possible for families to move, so this pollution-induced lung compromising effect will continue for millions of kids. Recently, we reported studies that showed kids that grow up in polluted urban areas show more behavioral problems, such as ADHD, along with more depression and anxiety, and now we learn they'll also struggle with compromised lung function that will certainly worsen with continued city living. Although it is obvious we need to continue our efforts to produce less polluting cars and trucks, our children cannot wait for our leaders to act. If you are raising children near a major highway, please make every effort to move. Living just a quarter of a mile away from the source of pollution makes a significant difference, a difference you may not be able to make up if you wait too long. Well, today on Your Health, we'll discuss the amazing mineral magnesium. Are you getting enough? Stay tuned and we'll learn more together. May saving 
Cancer-Free's time is here again with our annual Cancer-Free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Are you looking for a healthy replacement for sodas? For thousands of years, the Far East has enjoyed the many health benefits of green tea. Now the Western world has embraced this potent antioxidant for its many health benefits as both a drink and supplement. Green tea has been thoroughly researched. It's been shown to improve bone density and immunity, as well as levels of cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure. Research has also shown it to decrease inflammation and one's risk of cardiovascular disease and many forms of cancer. One recent study even found that people who drink five or more cups a day were 33% less likely to develop conditions that cause disability. For health, it is everyone's cup of tea. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Every day about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important, it protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back everyone. It is great to be with you today and I hope wherever you are, things are wonderful in your world too. Well, today's show is going to be quite interesting. We're going to be talking about the forgotten mineral, magnesium. You hear all about calcium, don't you? How important it is to get your calcium, and it is. But you know what? We need to talk about magnesium. You're going to be amazed. This one is just as important and in my book, it's more important. Yeah. Richard, magnesium. Magnesium is so important. Let's tell yes. everyone about it. Magnesium is the eighth most abundant element on the Earth's crust, so it's readily available, and it's the fourth most abundant mineral in the human body. A typical adult has about 25 grams of elemental magnesium in their body. It is essential for more than 350 different enzymes that controls a thousand or more chemical reactions. Magnesium is the mineral that drives the cellular battery. That is the essence of life itself. Without magnesium, that's not happening, folks. And you're right, Cindy, everybody t talks about calcium and potassium and phosphorus, these other, and they completely forget all about magnesium. These thousand plus chemical reactions includes things like maintaining muscle and nerve function, keeps the heart rate and rhythm steady, supports a healthy immune system, it keeps your bones strong. It's the magnesium that dictates bone strength in your diet, not the calcium. You need calcium to make bone, but if you don't have enough magnesium, you can take all the calcium you want. You're not going to make stronger bones. It's magnesium. It's more important for strong bones than calcium. Uh, most important mineral for electrolyte balance. You're having trouble maintaining your potassium? Are you on a diuretic and that potassium stays down and you get cramps at night and you're just miserable? 
blood pressure is up. Think magnesium. When the magnesium level is right, the potassium will follow. It controls the cellular clock or your circadian rhythm. This is a brand new finding. It also uh, paces metabolism and how fast you burn nutrients, you know, stay thin. This is controlled by magnesium. It also controls what methods you use metabolically to burn uh, calories. So your cellular clock, think of this, I'm having trouble sleeping at night. I'm tired all day, I'm up all night. That's the cellular clock. That's your circadian rhythm. This is a magnesium problem. It helps us to understand why insomniacs, uh, headache people, diabetics, they tend to be low in magnesium. This cellular clock concept, we're gonna get a lot more on this in the near future, new finding. It controls the secretion and function of insulin. Of course, zinc is in the insulin molecule, but magnesium dictates the tone, the pace of uh, insulin secretion. It's involved in aerobic energy metabolism. Virtually every uh, reaction in that sequence of aerobic metabolism, breathing oxygen and burning calories, is dictated, it's involved. Without magnesium as a catalyst, that reaction doesn't happen doesn't happen at all. You have to have it to make ATP. It activates the B vitamins. It's assisted in clotting and the preventing of clotting. It activates vitamin C. Dietary magnesium, now we just gave you a sample of a few of them. There's 350 plus or more, thousands, a thousand or more chemical reactions that involve magnesium. Dietary magnesium is absorbed in the small intestines and excreted through the kidneys, the skin and the feces, but primarily the kidneys control magnesium level. But under the influence of which hormone? We don't know that yet. Science has not determined which hormone controls magnesium. It is my personal opinion. I have a suspicion it's pregnenolone, but I don't have proof of that yet. We'll watch for that. When the scientists make that determination, we'll know because those of you who have chronic insufficiency of magnesium, trouble maintaining it, we might be able to help you with that if we know what hormone controls it. That's the point of that. 60% of our magnesium stores is in the bone, 39% or so is inside of the cell, and 1% is in the bloodstream. But the kid kidneys control the bloodstream first priority. So if your bloodstream level drops a little bit, it releases magnesium from the bone and inside the cell to maintain the blood level. So you will maintain a normal magnesium level all the while depleting your stores of bone. See, this is how you develop osteoporosis. Chronically low in magnesium, we leach magnesium out of our bones to put it in our bloodstream so our heart will keep beating and other things that we must do, all the while we deplete our stores. And you're taking a, mag a calcium supplement while you're doing this, but it's not helping. It's because of magnesium. See, this is the problem I wanted to help you understand. Oftentimes, the magnesium blood level will be normal when you are low in magnesium, and this is the reason why. We may have to do a magnesium challenge test. That's for the doctors to determine. Now, shall we start our magnesium quiz? Let's do that. How do you know if you're low in magnesium? Of course, the blood test and magnesium challenge will do that, but let's get an indication. Do you need to go into the doctor to ask? Let's take this quiz. Give yourself a point for each one of these. Do you drink alcohol daily or did you do it in the past for a prolonged period of time? Alcohol is a magnesium diuretic. Have you ever engaged in extreme endurance exercise, trained for marathons and done it over and over, or work in a hot climate where you sweat over a lot? That depletes magnesium. Are you plagued with insomnia or any emotional challenges, depression, stress, anxiety, anger, irritability, confusion, apathy, insomnia, you know, this type of thing? If so, give yourself a point. You know, maybe two points if it's extreme. Do you have cardiovascular disease of any type? Hypertension, irregular heartbeats, peripheral vascular disease. Give yourself a point. Lung conditions like asthma, shortness of breath, chronic bronchitis, COPD, that deserves a point. Low calcium or potassium levels. Irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel syndrome, or any condition that causes loose stool, diarrhea. You know, this... Uh, hastens the uh, uh, food stuff through the intestinal tract, you don't have time to absorb your nutrients. Any diarrhea, chronic diarrhea, not an occasional diarrhea, but day after day after day, you can really deplete your magnesium. Have you had major trauma? 
surgery, major surgery, closed head injury, close, have you been in a coma? This type of thing, that depletes magnesium. More than three servings of caffeinated, caffeine has a, a magnesium diuretic effect. I'm not talking about a cup or two in the morning and maybe one in the mid afternoon. You know, you're hooked on caffeine, you have two pots a day. Boy, you're gonna deplete your magnesium if you keep that up. Are you living in chronic pain, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, migraines or frequent headaches? This is a big one. The headaches can be severe with magnesium depletion. Cold extremities, muscle cramps, spasm, twitches. Do you bolt up out of bed at night with a muscle cramp? Boy, that's painful, isn't it? You wanna put it into that. Renaud syndrome, carpal tunnel syndrome. Any of these conditions are commonly associated with magnesium. Give yourself a, a point. Pre-diabetes, diabetes, uh, gestational diabetes, uh, were you eclampsic, preeclampsic during your pregnancy? Any of those deserve a point. Do you rarely eat raw fruits and vegetables? Do you eat a lot of sugar, processed foods? Processing foods depletes magnesium content. If you're a fast food junkie, you're low in magnesium, I assure you. Do you have trouble swallowing your food? It's hard to get, the muscles doesn't work. You kind of gag a lot with uh, magnesium depletion. Uh, menstrual issues, polyovarian disease, uh, infertility, PMS, painful periods. How about kidney stones? Kidney stones is more about low magnesium intake than too much calcium. At least the oxalate stones, that's the most common, 85, 90%. Do you take diuretics, daily antibiotics for prolonged period, like for acne, steroids, oral contraceptives, hormone replacement therapy, seizure medication for any reason, they've all been known to deplete magnesium. Mercury amalgam and dental, uh, mercury amalgam dental fillings. There's an association, osteoporosis, you understand that why now, hyperactive parathyroid gland or thyroid gland, either one that's hyperactive. Have you been through cancer, chemotherapy or radiation? Are you a smoker? Have you had a stroke or TIA? That's your cardiovascular disease. Liver or kidney transplant? How do you roll? How do you do? Let's do this. Let's go to our break. You add up your check marks. When we return, we'll score this and we'll uh, predict your likelihood of being low in magnesium. We'll be right back. May Savings Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Are you one of the 25 million Americans who suffer from an autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis or lupus? Autoimmune diseases are caused by a misdirected immune system that attacks the patient as though their own cells are a foreign invader. You can manage the symptoms of an autoimmune disease by living a healthy lifestyle. Here's a strategy. Avoid unnecessary exposure to pollutants and chemicals. Eat a simple organic-based diet free of junk food, low in sugar and food additives. Avoid foods that seem to cause flare-ups of your disease and stay active and exercise. Scientific research shows natural agents are of great benefit to the autoimmune disease patient. Yogurt helps to maintain normal bowel flora. Fish and flaxseed oil and noni juice calm inflammation. Vitamins and minerals provide nutrients for proper immune function. Keep fighting and don't ever give up. A positive attitude can make each day a little better. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro-defense technology. 
This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Okay, we're back everyone. I hope that you scored your quiz during the break. Didn't watch the commercials, you wrote all that down or did it at the same time. Sometimes that's a good thing too. All right, I did this along with you, this is interesting. And I've had mercury amalgam fillings. I had so many of them at one point. I had eight done the day before I got married. Can you believe that? Oh my. Can you believe that, Richard? We had no that. idea. That pretty well wiped you out, too. I but remember. we had no idea. No, we didn't know. What we was going know. on. We've learned so much you in know? our lives, haven't we? Anyway, this is interesting. So let's score everybody. Let's do. You know, this was a long list and maybe a a difficult quiz to endure, but it gives you an idea of how low magnesium levels are associated with so many different health conditions. So did you have zero to two points? Only two answers. That's pretty good. You're living a good life. You're healthy. You're exercising. You're taking your vitamins and you're eating very healthfully. So good for you. If you're three to four, you're on the edge. We don't want this to progress. Start eating healthily. Supplement your diet. Take about 500 milligrams of extra magnesium a day. We don't want this to go any further. If you have five to eight positives on this uh, quiz, this is a bad thing. You're struggling. You need help. And magnesium supplementation is part of the answer. Use both topical magnesium and oral magnesium while improving your diet and lifestyle practices. You're going to start feeling better, but you have to take action. If you have nine or more, positive answers, you need to see a doctor and ask for a magnesium test. Perhaps it'll be a magnesium challenge. If you're very depleted in magnesium, a simple blood test will show. But if you match up with a lot of positive answers on this test and the blood level is normal, you may need to do a magnesium challenge. Your doctor will know more about what that means or a red blood cell magnesium content test. That is more uh, clarifying in situations okay. like that. Okay. I have a question yes. before we go on to the research. So on these questions, if somebody had that in the past but does not now, how would they want to score that? For instance, of course, I had those fillings removed several years ago. Yes. But I use supplemental magnesium yes. and that gel, which is just amazing. But yet if I just scored this That's a very purely, good I wouldn't do That's that. A, because if, you, if you've had it in your past right. and you feel bad now, Okay. It counts. Okay. If you've had it in the past, but you're doing great now, you're all right. You don't need to count that. Okay, good. These are things that add up to failing health. I have mm -hmm. headaches. I'm, I'm tired. I can't sleep well. My blood right. pressure's out of my blood mm -hmm. sugar. You know, if you're not doing well, yeah, it counts. Okay. It's in your history. Good. Now, let's talk about the benefits of taking a little extra magnesium. Keep in mind, as America's diet becomes more and more refined, we're losing magnesium. As you move from the east in the North America to the west, the ground soils have less and less magnesium. So the westward expansion in America leads to magnesium depletion in our diet. Uh, the magnesium content of our diet is about half of what it was a hundred years ago, and they know that based on good evidence. So everyone in America is set up for magnesium deficiency. What happens when we take a little more? Let's go to the research. Dr. Dennis Goodman, which, who is an outstanding cardiologist, has been on this program. He wrote a great book on magnesium, Magnificent Magnesium. He wrote, magnesium is the conductor of your body's biological symphony orchestrating the proper function of approximately 80% of your body's metabolic processes. So if you want things to work right, you're going to take a little extra magnesium. Magnesium controls the cellular clock. We discussed that. It also controls your metabolic rate and the type of metabolism we use to, use to create energy in our bodies. As magnesium levels drop, total body inflammation increases. So you can calm inflammation with magnesium. 
Multiple population studies show as magnesium content of water, soil, or diet decreases, cardiovascular disease increases, diabetes increases, and cancer increases. 68% of all Americans do not ingest enough magnesium, and that's from governmental studies. That's not from a drug company or somebody with an ax to grind. That's our federal government doing these studies. Hopefully they have our interest at heart. A recent study analyzed the magnesium blood level in over a thousand successive patients admitted into the hospital. 54% of them had low magnesium levels. Every other patient into the hospital. Imagine, if you're not getting magnesium in the hospital, your hospital stay will be prolonged. And you know how it is, folks. The longer you're in the hospital, the more likely you're going to have complications, infections, bad things. It's no place to get well. We want to get in and get out as soon as we can. The dietary intake is what half of what it used to be. Agricultural practices, we've explained why this is happening. It's a fact it's going on. In northern Finland, they have the highest cardiovascular disease rates in the world because they have low groundwater magnesium. In southern Finland, they have high magnesium content to their water and they have among the lowest rates. We have these, these amazing things around the world that help us understand this problem. Swedish researchers found those with high magnesium content water, 20% lower risk of death from a heart attack and 80% lower risk of coronary artery lesions. And they were able to determine in animal studies that magnesium depletion raises inflammation and the, they understand the mechanism why. Low mag leads to body inflammation. Body inflammation leads to cardiovascular disease, cancer, and the terrible things that make us sick today. Japanese study, as magnesium decreases, we have increasing hemorrhagic stroke, death from stroke in men, and death from ischemic stroke, coronary artery disease, heart failure, and cardiovascular disease in general in women. Cardiovascular disease goes up when we're low in magnesium. That's what you need to remember. And it's the bad ones. It's the stroke, it's the heart attack, etc. Magnesium alleviates the symptoms of mitral valve prolapse. A study of 200 people with arrhythmia shows those who took magnesium had a significant drop in irregular heartbeats. Pay attention if you have arrhythmias. Do you have PVCs? Classic sign of magnesium depletion. Take the magnesium, PVCs typically go away. When you are profoundly low in magnesium, doctors and nurses, torsade de pointe, turning on a point, you know what I'm talking about, and long QT syndrome, classic sign of profound magnesium depletion. Look for it, you will find it clinically. Magnesium supplementation lowers the incidence of angina. Let's say you have a coronary artery lesion or two and you occasionally get a little angina. You're on your, you're on your angina meds like nitrates and beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, but it's still, you're still getting it. You're low in magnesium. Take a little extra magnesium, you'll have less chest pain. High magnesium level associated with 37% lower risk of sudden cardiac death. It keeps the coronary arteries open and the blood flowing so the heart can get the oxygen it needs. It helps to control your blood pressure. You know, this is the number one health threat to America. Multiple uh, medical experts have said hypertension is killing us and they give out medicine after medicine. As long as you're taking that blood pressure medicine, well, we can control your pressure, but it never cures it. Think magnesium in that scenario. Are they thinking of adding a third drug to control your blood pressure? Think magnesium and vitamin D. Recent study of 60 men and women with high blood pressure found that magnesium supplements lowered both the systolic, the top and the bottom diastolic pressure. It complements calcium in controlling blood pressure. It's beautifully, it helps. It relaxes the muscles in the artery that control the blood vessels, allows blood pressure to blood to flow three, freely, oxygenate the tissues, it keeps that. See, if you're not getting the proper oxygen in the, the tissues, the heart responds by pumping harder and harder and harder. Well, we want to open the vessels so it can oxygenate and the heart can take a break. We do that with magnesium, not a drug. Start with the magnesium, but you can use magnesium with medicines, that's okay. What about diabetes? Supports diabetic complications. It minimizes the complications. 82% of all type 2 diabetics are low in magnesium. And remember, magnesium sets the circadian clock of the cell and it controls your metabolism and how we use nutrients to make energy for the diabetes. So, 
82% of all diabetics are low on magnesium. Supplementing magnesium improves insulin and glucose levels. Magnesium deficiency increases the risk of kidney damage due to diabetes. It may protect diabetics against eye disease and neuropathy. It's part of that complex of the B vitamins, alpha lipoic acid and magnesium to help with nerve conditions of diabetes. Magnesium supplementation improves endothelial function in elderly diabetics, meaning the blood vessels act normally better. Supplements improve insulin resistance in non-diabetics. You're on the, on the edge, insulin resistance. It even helps to lower your body fat percentage. Tremendous benefits for magnesium to the diabetic. We have more when we return. May Savings Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at BioInnovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, maitake, reishi, shiitake, and cordyceps sinensis. At BioInnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing Mushroom Cordyceps Sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back everyone. I want to let you know about our celebration. We're having a fantastic celebration at BioInnovations. We call it our May Savings Celebration. Great prices, best prices of the season. Really fantastic prices and free shipping. And that's on all orders over $50 in the mainland USA. I don't want you to miss out on it. A great time to get the magnesium and the other things that you need to stay healthy. Well, we're going through all the research on magnesium. There's a lot. It's really interesting though. So now Richard's got a, a story about body inflammation. You know, we talk about that when we talk about cardiovascular disease and different diseases. We've always talked about inflammation, but did you know magnesium can help with that body inflammation? Yes, you know, all those enzymes that are influenced by magnesium, the anti-inflammatory processes in our body, they're highly influenced by magnesium. And if you're chronically low, everything's going to be tense, inflamed, sore, and achy. 
that this is chronic pain patients, please pay attention. Magnesium is so soothing. Put it on the achy sore joints. Rub the topical on the neck and shoulders and you will just feel things relax. It's amazing how effective it is. You know, our chronic diseases of our time, we've learned how to deal with malaria and things like that. You know, uh, it's not, it's still a problem in many parts of the world, but it's our chronic inflammation that's driving our top killers in America today. And there's no doubt in my mind that magnesium insufficiency, so you can have low amounts in your diet, you can be losing too much. There's various ways, but they're all low magnesium. That's why I use that term. It's all low magnesium. And uh, we replace magnesium to counter all the causes. So increasing inflammation, low magnesium, Supplement it, help calm that inflammation, feel better. Fibromyalgia. One study showed after two months of taking magnesium, fibromyalgia patients consistently felt better, fewer trigger points, tender spots, they slept better, their life was better. Uh, this takes time. Uh, this is the main difference between drug therapies and nutrient therapies. The body has to rebuild itself. And this takes time, but so make a commitment, get on the magnesium, stay with it a while. Uh, glutamate receptors, endo, uh, excitotoxicity, lessens the damage of stroke. You know, if you should get some MSG, you know, the Chinese food syndrome, you go out to eat, uh, who doesn't love Chinese food, but so many places put this MSG in it and you, you eat it and you have a headache, you feel bad. If that ever happens to you, you get into some MSG by accident, take some magnesium, curcumin from the spiced turmeric and a big glass of water and I promise you in 30 minutes or so you're going to start feeling much better. It counters the excitotoxicity of MSG. It's nice to know that because that's a headache that you don't need, right? High levels protect the brain from trauma. If you are in a car accident and you have closed head injury and you're in a, in a coma, if your magnesium level is high you're more likely to come out of that coma with no brain damage. If you have a stroke, 40% less stroke damage if your magnesium level is up where it needs to be. It's that important. Uh, alleviates osteoporosis. As I mentioned earlier, magnesium dictates bone mineral density. It's not calcium. You need calcium to do it, but if you're low in mag with high calcium, you're still not going to make the bone. That's the... Every 100 milligrams of magnesium you ingest daily will add 1% to bone mineral density. The best medicines on the market only increase 3%. 500 milligrams of magnesium will beat that bar none. So you don't necessarily have to take those drugs, but you can if you need to. Because so, some people have to do it all to improve their bone uh, mineral density. Ophthalmic disease. Increasing evidence shows magnesium deficiency associated with cataracts, glaucoma, and diabetic retinopathy. Here's a problem that doesn't get a lot of attention unless they're trying to sell a medicine on TV. Urge, urinary urge incontinence. Ladies, it's primarily a problem for women, but men can have it too. Urinary incontinence. It's a real problem, folks. 350 milligrams of magnesium a day lowered the episodes of urge incontinence, less uh, needs, uh, needs to urinate frequently, and fewer awakenings at night. This was in the Family Practice News. A study was published there. Women with urinary incontinence, urge incontinence, magnesium gives proper tone to the bladder. It helps you control it better. That's a wonderful bit of information that could help somebody. Constipation, one of the leading causes of constipation is chronic magnesium deficiency. It helps to improve asthma. This is an old-time remedy that goes way back, 100 years or more. The old-time doctors would give magnesium Epsom salt bath to an asthmatic child. Then they would give magnesium IV right into the bloodstream for an asthmatic child. That's fallen out of favor, but it's coming back. It's coming back. And they were able to show in Russia that you can use magnesium orally or topically, and it will help relieve a uh, uh, asthma attack because, you know, the average layperson, they can't do IV magnesium in their home, but you can put some magnesium, rub on the chest of your child, give them a, a magnesium supplement in their, with their diet every day, you're going to see improvements, slow but steady improvements in their asthma. Add a little vitamin D to that too.
for the kids, help with their lung function. Attention deficit hyperactivity, a European study, Poland and Germany did a, a joint study. They found magnesium supplementation helped with ADHD, attention, mood disorders, um, hostility, uh, you know, all the things that the kids are going through now with behavior problems with ADHD, it improves, it helps. It reduces emotional irritability and chronic depression and anxiety. I wonder how many of the people taking antidepressants today, a significant proportion, they are just low in magnesium, a little B vitamin, you know, a little omega-3, a little prayer, a little exercise and support, validation. This is what they need, not more and more antidepressants. Well, I really, I lose sleep over that because I see a pattern in this country that is just devastating and it's not working. These drugs are not working and it's leading to violent behavior and things that we don't need. Get to the root cause of the depression, address those reasons. Then if the depression persists, then medicines are appropriate. That's all I'm saying. There's a time and place for all of it. Magnesium and depression, it's a huge player. Well, we have some other things, but let's go to our break and we'll talk about those when we return. May Savings Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at Bio Innovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Here is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. When we struggle with disease and painful health conditions, we can become overwhelmed with negative thoughts. We may even develop depression. The Apostle Paul offered guidelines to help us preserve a positive attitude during times of trouble. He wrote in Philippians 4 verse 8, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Thinking positive thoughts is the first step toward overcoming worry, even depression. Proverbs 17 verse 22 reminds us, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Remember these words of wisdom as you face your health challenges. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. We're back everyone talking about magnesium. And before we get into the next part, I've got to let you know it is May saving celebration at Bio Innovations. Great prices, best prices of the season and free shipping on orders over $50. I don't want you to miss out on that one all month long. Fantastic time to stock up on what you need to be healthy. So 
Magnesium, isn't this amazing, all the different things that magnesium helps in our health? And did you know that magnesium plays a part in your hearing? Mm -hmm. This one is great. Richard, tell us about it. Well, you know, we have so much noise in the world today. We sure do. Uh, city living, airports, construction zones, heavy equipment operators. Uh, I think of military and police. They have to be proficient in firearms. It's their job, so they have to practice. They have to shoot. They have to be good at shooting. And this is all very stressful on the ears. Wear your ear protection, but rest assured, if you're supplementing magnesium and you're expo exposed to loud noises, you will have less hearing damage. But you gotta, you gotta protect your ears, of course. Uh, they even found if you have hearing loss due to high uh, exposure to loud noises, taking magnesium will help to restore your hearing to some degree. But please use the precautionary safety measures, protect your eyes, protect your ears, construction workers, farm workers, you know who you are, you're around loud noises. It hurts your ears. If you're to the point where it doesn't hurt your ears, you're in trouble, you're gonna lose hearing. Magnesium will help part, it's, help, it's part of that equation to preserve hearing. Next, migraines. 60% of migraine sufferers respond to magnesium supplementation. Now, if you're in the middle of a migraine headache, taking one dose of magnesium is not going to make them go away. This takes time to restore the intracellular levels of magnesium. Get on your plant, get on your vitamin D, your magnesium curcumin. That combination does great great things for brain dysfunctions. Things like uh, migraine sufferers. That, that migra I remember in practice, honey, people would come in with migraines and just knock out. They're in so much pain. And we'd give them a special type of osteopathic cranial therapy, give them a little magnesium, uh, sometimes even an IV fluid because they're vomiting often. And pop them right up, boy. This stuff works. It helps with these headaches, terrible headaches. PMS, 96%, according to one study of patients with PMS, get them on a little magnesium, and B6 is important for the uh, PMS scenario and dysmenorrhea of painful periods. The periods begin to improve a little progesterone cream here or there as needed. It makes such a difference. See, it relaxes. It relaxes the uterine tone, so those cramps are minimized. Big difference. Magnesium use associated with 41% fewer hot flashes in menopause. Vascular stability. Hot flashes in menopause. Here's one that I really want to get across today. Restless leg syndrome. This is such a terrible thing. You're lying in bed, ready to fall asleep, and just as you feel yourself falling into sleep, you have an uncontrollable need to move your legs, or your arms, or your whole body has to fidget. And of course, this wakes you up, sleep is delayed, now we have a form of insomnia, and you're just miserable from it. It's really disconcerting. Uh, we know that low iron levels, if you're iron deficient, this can cause severe, severe uh, restless leg. It has its roots in a dopamine imbalance somehow. They know all these details. All these details come from looking for a drug. But it is my belief, and based on good literature, that the root cause of restless leg syndrome is magnesium depletion. This stuff works. Take the magnesium, rub the gel on your back and your legs. Take the uh, magnesium chelate orally. Uh, you know, another thing that can help if it's in the legs is take a little oil of oregano and rub it over your lumbar spine because that's where the nerves for the lower extremity go. It acts as a little counter irritant with your magnesium together, a little B12 because ailing nerves need B12. B complex, get those B vitamins for nerves. This is going to get better. We often see this with disc disease and chronic disability from spine pain, this restless leg. How do you get well if you can't sleep at night? You know, it's this endless cycle. Get on the vitamin D, get on the magnesium, the curcumin. Remember the nerve uh, protocol with little B vitamins. We're going to get you over that restless leg syndrome. You know, one of the problems, the medications that are prescribing now for restless leg they actually, in many, make it worse, and it's dependency forming. So 18 months later, your restless leg is worse, and you're hooked on a drug. That's no way to treat the human condition, folks. That's how you make a society, a population, dependent on your product. Yeah, you're going to get rich doing that, but you're harming people. I don't agree with that. 
Go with the naturals with this restless leg. We used to see a lot of this in management of chronic pain. It's a common phenomenon in people who have had to use steroids, who've had trauma to their spine, and it can be devastating. But now you know how to deal with it. Magnesium and restless leg syndrome. We also know from an experimental biology study in medicine, experimental biology in medicine, that topical application of magnesium chloride is highly effective in raising blood levels. So maybe you have an upset tummy. Maybe you are very sensitive internally to magnesium. Some people get loose stool with magnesium. You can apply it topically and get the desired results. So let's go to our break. And when we return, let's talk about how do you get it in your diet, the key foods to help with the diet, and how to take supplemental magnesium and topical magnesium. We'll have that when we return. Savings Time is here again with our annual cancer-free celebration. Cindy and I would like to thank you for your continued support of our efforts here at Your Health Television and at BioInnovations. We understand you must be very careful with your budget, so we're offering you the best prices of the year on many of your favorite supplements for the entire month of May. And shipping is free on all orders over $50 in the continental U.S. Perhaps you've heard about many of these supplements and wondered if they'd help you. Now's a great time to give them a try. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients and Noni Natural Skin Care are up to 50% off. Aloha Noni and Acai are still half priced by the case. And many other products you've grown to trust are up to 30% off. May is a great time to stock up on your favorites. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Each year, more than 76 million Americans contract food poisoning. Most cases are caused by tainted fruits and vegetables, especially contaminated leafy lettuce. But poultry causes the most food poisoning related deaths. To prevent food poisoning, follow these simple rules. Thoroughly wash all fruits and vegetables. When preparing any kind of meat, wash your hands, utensils, and work area before preparing any other food. Cook thoroughly chicken and ground meats. Store leftovers in the refrigerator immediately. Look for expiration dates when you shop. If you use reusable grocery totes, wash them periodically. And finally, use spices such as garlic and oregano to inhibit the growth of bacteria that cause food poisoning. Food safety lowers your risk significantly of getting sick. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Every day about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone, having a great discussion on magnesium for better health. This one is fantastic. So, Richard, we always say good health, you know, to start with your diet. Absolutely. That's what we do on it's, yeah. it's not go out and buy things. It's start with the diet and your lifestyle first. Absolutely. So what would be the best way to get magnesium in your diet? Well, as we learned, as the groundwater magnesium content decreases, so does our, our disease profile increases. So groundwaters that have a lot of magnesium are very helpful. But the problem with that, we call that hard water. It also tends to have a lot of iron in it. 
and we can't endure all that iron. We need the magnesium, we don't need all that iron, so people soften the water, and that takes out the iron and the magnesium, so that's a problem. Uh, most of us can't rely on our tap water to get the magnesium. Uh, all vegetables, but especially green vegetables, have magnesium, as magnesium is the center of the chlorophyll molecule. Chlorophyll makes things green, so anything green has good magnesium content. I think spinach, outstanding. Any of those leafy greens are really good. Fruits, good magnesium content. Molasses, isn't it interesting that nat the more natural sweeteners like molasses, honey, maple syrup, they're rich in magnesium. High fructose corn syrup, uh, table sugar, none. <laughs> no magnesium at all there. And you will deplete yourself of magnesium if you rely on those refined sweeteners. Whole grains, bran, yes, magnesium. Refined white flour, nope. No magnesium there, very little. Nuts and seeds, the single best source of magnesium are your nuts and seeds. We make it a part of our daily diet in our home. You, you know, people who eat nuts and seeds on a daily basis on average live six years longer. And magnesium is a major reason for that. The oils, the protein, there are others, but magnesium. Six years just from eating nuts and seeds on a daily basis. Beans, milk, and the eggs, fish, tuna, refined and processed fast foods deplete of magnesium. Eat a healthy diet, you'll have a good magnesium source. We can supplement, and I highly recommend you do. Our bodies are much better at getting rid of a little extra magnesium than living day after day with not quite enough. We can't make it out of any other substance. It has to be in our diet or our supplement plan for us to do. Our minimum requirement for a woman is about 320 milligrams. For a man, it's 420. Too much magnesium can lead to diarrhea. You've heard of milk of magnesia, yes, but that's large doses, five, eight, 10 grams will create a state of diarrhea. We don't want to get that high because if the stool is loose chronically, you're going to wash out a lot of nutrients, not just magnesium. So we don't want to push it that far. Uh, but you know that helps you to understand many people who are trying to restore their magnesium will take a thousand milligrams of magnesium chelate it's attached to an amino acid so you absorb it well it's not irritating to the intestinal tract a thousand that'd be four of the capsules that Cindy has for us and then they'll use the magnesium gel on their body and maybe even soak in an Epsom salt magnesium sulfate, Epsom salt bath to get their blood levels up. Some require injections or IV or IM injections of magnesium to get their levels up. Start with these simple things that you can do on your own. If it's not responding, you can uh, do the more aggressive parenteral. Sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes it's life-saving to have the injections. Don't be afraid of them. If it's necessary, we do what we have to do. 250 milligram capsules. The uh, topical gel is magnesium chloride proven to absorb. It's gonna work. Calcium gets all the tension. It's famous, everybody knows about it, but magnesium is just as important and in many ways even more important. Health experts state the typical American is low in magnesium. How about you? How'd you do on your score? This is cheap, this is easy, and other remedies will fail if we don't address our magnesium depletion. It's all a part of it. This is as important as any topic we discuss in this program. That's right. I hope we got through to you today. It's going to make you feel better. Thank you for your kind attention, folks. We'll see you tomorrow right here at Your Health. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey, come on in. 843-323-4228. Hey, come on in. I'm Grady Hendricks, the general manager for WLCN-TV in Charleston, South Carolina. And I invite you to advertise your Christian-owned business, ministry, or church on your Christian television station. We can advertise your business on your Christian television network three times a day, seven days a week, for $300 a month. It's an incredible opportunity. 843-323-4228.